hey guys once again welcome back to another brand new video in this video i'm going to be comparing filmora to adobe premiere pro now filmora is far less expensive than premiere but is it really worth it so let's find out let's start with the interface this is what filmora looks like when you first open up and start a new project and this is what premiere pro looks like when you start a new project can you see the similarities just like premiere filmora also has dedicated workspace that you can use for media audio text transition and effects also has a project media panel which is similar to adobe premiere project panel here you can import videos photos as well as music unlike premiere Premiere, Filmora offering some really cool stock media that you can use in your videos. In addition, Filmora also has some stock media panels that is super amazing. They are offering some royalty free sources that you can use and search easily what media you actually want. But unfortunately, Premiere don't have any option like this. You need to install plugin for that. That is obviously another hustle. Unlike Premiere Pro, when you open up Filmora, a timeline is already open. So you can click on the project setting to customize the frame size and frame rate and what i actually like is that you can choose from different types of preset like instagram portrait standard because in premiere pro they don't have those presets just youtube facebook twitter stuff like that both software have editing tools here is some basic tools filmora is showing on his main editing tool area and here is the tools that premiere pro is showing as far as titles and transitions, Filmora have a lot of built-in amazing titles and transitions. These titles and transitions are actually basic, but if you are a beginner then it helps a lot. You can also get many packs for Filmora from Filmstocks, but in Premiere Pro they don't have built-in titles, but we have many built-in transitions that actually great. Unlike Filmora, you can create many cool titles and transitions in Premiere, and you can also get some very amazing packs from different websites such as in Veto. Filmora also have drag and drop effect just like in Premiere Pro but the huge difference between these two software's effects is that Filmora offering some really cool built-in effects that absolutely insane. I think so they are offering more than 3000 effects that includes audio visualizers, AI portraits, Boris FX, New Blue FX and many more. But for Premiere, if you need those type of effects you need to create by yourself or you need to buy from different sources, that's pretty much difficult and expensive. As for the audio, Filmora offering a dedicated panel where you get many more sound effects and music tracks that you can use in your videos as a background music or for a different purpose. But in Premiere, they don't have any option like that. They are not offering some audio tracks so you have to use some other resources to get a music for Premiere. And of course, you can export a video just by using in and out points or exporting all of the contents. For the money, Filmora gets the job done. It's only a $4.16 for a whole month and Premiere Pro charging $21 US dollar per month. Filmora definitely worth it. I do think thought that it needs some major improvements but Filmora offering some really cool features as well. So I really think it's really worth it and it's great for you if you're just a beginner or you need a quick editing then Filmora is a good option for you. If you guys think it's worth it for you, you guys can use my link in the description below to get it for free and use it all the features. You will just get a watermark when you export and then once you decide if you want to actually use it it, you can purchase it to remove that watermark. I'm more than happy to mention here about Filmora Go Vlog Contest that is super great. Only you have to do just edit your vlog using Filmora Go Video Editing Tool and just need to tag a Filmora to your video. They are giving away a lot of the prizes. So best of luck for the contest. I also mentioned the link in the description below. You can check it out. So yeah, that's all for the today's video. I hope you guys like it. If you like it, then hit the subscribe subscribe button and bell the notification for more interesting videos and also hit the like button for this video. I will see you in the next one.